Um, so, like, like you say, um, you know, you were talking about going to the O5 final, these brilliant things that you've done. And it's worth remembering, um, you might prove me wrong, but it's not all rosy, is it? You've made, I, I, I got a, a bit, well, you might be all rosy, no. <laughs> I bet you've made a lot of sacrifices and a lot of long hours have gone into that as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's 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 a it's an uncompromising job in that respect. It's twenty four seven. I mean, you can you can be you can be you can think your working day's finished at seven o'clock, and then one of the other papers has a story that drops at ten thirty, and you and you find yourself up at midnight catching up and trying to to get it into last edition. That's that is that comes with the comes with the job, comes with the territory. Um, it's not regular in terms of obviously you, you work at weekends, so mm-hmm. I mean you, you're not. That's nice sort of. Do you, do you find it hard to balance family life with? Did, yeah, did you, you find it hard? Yeah, it's, it's had its moments, definitely. Um, but the other thing about it is because it's not, because it's not nine to five. Um, you're around at other times, um, so you know things like the school run, etc. You, you, you're usually around unless you're unless you're travelling abroad. Um, so you, I mean, look, it swings and roundabouts. It's mm-hmm. it's a it's a great job. I'm very lucky, and um, I have been for the last 20 years. And I'll be interested to see what the uh, what hours the athletic throws up. You never know; it might be uh, it might be twice just, as much. Just as we're doing this out <laughs> nine to five. <laughs> <laughs> um, one thing I wanted to speak to you about as well um, was the Sunday supplement. You say that before you said you, you don't really like giving your opinion. What what was it like to go from you know writing pieces to going on TV into a different medium? And actually being a pundit, in essence, did did you find it difficult at the start? And there's another thing I want to ask you about. I'll let you answer that first. I, I did find it difficult, yeah, and and I still, th- I mean, look, I haven't been on for a while. Um, it's uh, a couple of times last season, I think. Um, but it may be that that I'm I I, I didn't express enough of my opinions on on those. Shows. I mean, that 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 might have been. If you're not as strident as some of your colleagues, then then you know what's the attraction of watching here? You can, bland answers isn't going to get you anywhere. But um, but I think I, I always I always felt comfortable with the way I responded to questions. Although you know, on the way back, you always sort of have a quick glance at your phone and see the Twitter comments, and you would you wouldn't know that you'd give up of the yeah. balance of responses. As you possibly could, it, yeah, it's just the way it is. But um, look, it's—I I really I have to be honest. I—I I, I didn't think. I, I always sort of, as a young journalist, I saw sort of Brian Wolno presenting that show, and always wondered where, what it would be like to be on it, and was always yeah. actually a bit terrified of ever being asked. It was like, oh, I hope they don't ask me. I don't, I don't really feel as if I'm of a journalist of that caliber yeah. yet. And then when Ash took over. Um, and Ash sort of um, went his own way with it, and a lot of the a lot of new guys did did get opportunities on it. And when he did ask me, there was a, it was an instant terror. Definitely, there was a, like, oh my word, I'm not sure about this. But but on it, I loved it. Absolutely loved it. It's 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 a brilliant brilliant show to do. It's, it's really good fun. I can imagine it's good fun. One, yeah, once you've had that first response, once you've had the first done the first answer and you sort of ease into it mm-hmm. um it's it's a great show to do and and you know it's 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 definitely it's definitely bringing on different people uh it's a, a far bigger um pool of of people now on the show um with ash and uh i think that it benefits from that as well from having fresh new faces all the time um then yeah, it's great fun i don't i, I don't know whether Look, look, it may be that my time on that has, has, has been and gone. It may well be the case, but I mean, don't work for a newspaper now. I do, it was always a newspaper show before. I know, I know they've recently sort of started taking on people from websites. The ESPN have been on a few times, and um, Joe, I think, were on it for a while. Um, but I, ultimately, I was I was into that and thought that was a. It used to be called Hold the Back Page, didn't it? I mean, mm-hmm. it was a newspaper show. Um, and as of next week, I won't be working for a newspaper, so. We'll I'm goes. sure. I'm sure they'll still have you on. Um, <laughs> one thing I did want to ask about the show, right? And <laughs> it's real breakfast. It's real. That's food. what I was going to say. Do yeah, you eat it? Do you, do you eat the, you was, eat the breakfast? Said, How did you know I was going to ask? Because everybody always asks about that, and <laughs> I, I, honestly, I never I'm touched it. I was always too scared to touch it. And then the second show I did, 
I won't name the journalist he was on with, but he's a good friend of mine and a lovely fella. A bit of a, he's got a sort of, a bit of a bumbling persona about him, which I'm not altogether sure. I think it might be an act. But anyway, he, um, in the middle of an advert break, he decided he was going to tuck into a croissant, uh, started eating away, and as it was ticking down um, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 to go back onto the music and the show, I glanced at him and he had croissant all over his shoulder on his black thing and I was like get rid of get rid of get stuff like that and the thing is ticking on the music was on and we were still trying to dust off the the pastry from his shoulder so that it, uh, it is genuinely real food what I'm giving That's away a trade se- it. trade secret here sometimes when you're not tucking in because you're nervous or whatever and you don't you're not particularly hungry they do um in the advert breaks come out and just put some food on your plate maybe break up a croissant so it looks as if you've been yeah. tucking in but it is genuine food yeah that's true. that's incredible that, do you know what out of this whole video <laughs> that's what i wanted to know about, <laughs> honestly um so that pretty much sums up your career and i, I can only imagine what you're going to go on to achieve with the athletic um but going going into the wider footballing world i know i know you don't like giving your opinion um, but one thing that i know you've been very vocal about in the guardian and been writing about is the is the var and we saw last weekend the implementation of VAR maybe not being used in the correct way. I just, I just wanted to gauge your opinion on how you think VAR is and whether you think it's a good thing for football. I think when it first um, was mooted as an idea, I was quite up for it because I thought that if there is injustice in a football match, if, if a decision is so ludicrously wrong and there is no means of correcting it, then we should have that safety net in place, particularly given what is at stake in in football at the highest level, all, all over actually. I mean, uh, that's, that's wrong of me to say just at the highest level, but I mean, look, look at a playoff final, and if, if a, a, bla- a decision is blatantly wrong in that, mm-hmm. surely there has to be a way of of correcting it then and then, so it doesn't affect the teams and the clubs long term and we are talking long term yeah. with a lot of the things but the, the the problem is I don't think at the moment it's uh, it's working no. I don't, I don't, but I don't, I'm, I'm sort of willing to give it uh, it's early days I didn't expect it to work suddenly overnight mm-hmm. um, and I do think that the the changing and tweaking of the laws particularly on handball Hasn't helped, hasn't helped at all. I mean, it just and it's made it look more ridiculous. And I, the incident that you're talking about, um, that I wrote a bit about, was was Villa in the last minute at Sellhurst, well, when which I, when wasn't I a that. wasn't a VAR decision. It didn't it didn't have to go. It didn't go to VAR because because the the referee blew his whistle before the ball went into the back of the net. So the VAR wasn't checking the goal. And and I know the rules there that it can't get involved after, but. It's there to stop clear and obvious errors, and that but, was but the, the biggest clear but and the, obvious the, error. The was error was the referee blowing his whistle. Exactly. Which, but you you can't penalise if a team stops playing. If one team stops playing when the referee blows his whistle and the other team scores, then I don't see. I don't, that, that, you can't then go back and say, oh, actually, that's a goal. Well, yeah. they stop playing. They they stop playing because that's what you do. We're told to play to the whistle, then you stop. Um, so it's, are, it's 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 it was a it was a really really awkward one, and I can I, I saw, I sensed. I'm a good friend of mine, another journalist, is a big Villa fan, and he made it. He wasn't at the game, but he was he was watching it on uh, Twitter or whatever, and he had, he messaged me the a rerun of the the incident immediately. Why the hell is this not being given? Um, well, yeah, the referee made a mistake. Um, in his opinion, he made a mistake. Um, I would also add, and this is going to be controversial, I guess, well, and it's prob- maybe this is the Palace fan in me talking, but... Um, it, was a clear, it was a clear dive. <laughs> Jack Grealish does drag his left foot. He drags his left foot looking for contact. Um, and whether he's going down playing the ball or going down diving, I, I, I don't think he was. I don't think when he actually went down, because he, he hadn't had that contact, he knew he hadn't had that contact. I don't think he, yeah. that was a dive. But the fact, is, the, well, the fact is, well, the fact is that that Hurahan is standing right next to the referee, right, almost well, the ref, he's referee's here. Hurahan's there. Greenish has gone down there, and Hurahan is in the referee's ear, armed outstretched, going penalty, penalty, penalty. 
which is going to influence the referee if he thinks it's a, if he thinks he's gone down too easily and the fella's screaming penalty at him. Yeah, he's going to book him for diving. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's it's just one. Of, I mean, it was a in his context, it was the ninety fifth minute. Liv Villa were looking for an, an unlikely equaliser, and you know, but you know. Well, no, I, I'm not. Uh, I, I, the reality <laughs> is, we the, the biggest worry of all this was VAR was going to cut out the controversy from games. Well, we've seen pretty obviously that it's not going to do that. Keeping us in jobs. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Should be praising it. Um, so I think that pretty much rounds everything up. And I can only say thank you so much for coming on today and sharing your story. And hopefully, if there's anyone watching, they've you know become inspired and. <laughs> they, I, I, at least they know a bit more about how to get into journalism if they do want to I know I've taken a lot from it as well so I really appreciate you coming on Pleasure. to um, 24-7 Football if you if you don't uh, want to join the Athletic you want to join us that is fine I can't pay you if, if I don't, if I don't do very well at the Athletic you. I'll be knocking on your door in a few weeks <laughs> <laughs> absolutely yeah. but thank you to Dom for coming on um, and I hope you all enjoyed this Lives in the Game um, we've really enjoyed making this series and if there is anyone else out there that you think um, you do want us to interview we've got a few big ones coming up we've got a certain uh, women's footballer who is in the England World Cup squad as well so we've got some fantastic fantastic content coming out um, in the next few weeks as well so subscribe to the channel uh, like the video if you're new around here check out our website 247football.com check out The Athletic with Dom as well go and follow him on Twitter I'll leave it all in the description below again thank you for coming on Dom and uh, yeah thank you very everyone for watching and we shall see you next time